I recently showed you how to gain root access on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, and the Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G. And with that, I know a lot of people are going to be experimenting with the various mods and root applications that are available for Android. Usually these work very well and you're not going to have any issues unless the developer says they're not compatible with your device. However, there are some situations where you actually try to install a mod on a smartphone like the Galaxy Note 10 series and you come across an issue where it soft bricks the device. A lot of people will just call this a bricked device but in fact it's more referred to as a soft brick since we can fix it with software. It's not a hard brick. So today I want to show you how to unbrick your Samsung Galaxy Note 10, Note 10 Plus, or Note 10 Plus 5G. And we're going to do this like we did on the root tutorial. You're going to need to download your latest Samsung official firmware. And we're going to do that with either programs like SamFirm or websites like Updato or SamMobile.com. If you go and look in the video description, I'll have a link to my website, which will have direct links to tutorials that will show you how to download this stuff with SamFirm or using the website Updato. But at the end, we just need to have the firmware for our specific Samsung Galaxy Note 10 device and we're going to need to have that downloaded onto the computer so that we can use Odin. Now Odin is another program I'm going to have download links to on my website and a lot of this tutorial needs to happen on the computer which I'll show you how to do in a bit. So first, our, after we have downloaded our firmware, we've downloaded Odin, we need to get our smartphone, our Galaxy Note 10, into download mode. And again, if you look in the full tutorial for this video, then I'll have a link that will show you exactly how to boot this device into download mode. And we first need to do that by getting the device into a powered off state. Then we're going to boot the device into recovery mode. And now I'm just going to boot over into download mode, which is referred to as bootloader mode here in the Android recovery screen. So now we have our Samsung Galaxy Note 10, the plus version in my case, in download mode. I'm going to connect it to our computer with a USB cable. And then I'm going to open up Odin on the computer with administrator rights. So let's go ahead and do that. So as I mentioned, I have connected the smartphone to the PC. You can see Odin detects it. Alright, what we have right here is the firmware I have downloaded. This is downloaded with SamFirm, but again, you can download it from Sam Mobile, Updato, XDA, any other trusted source. When you extract this file, you're going to get these files right here. And we're going to be loading four of these into Odin. So again, we're, we have opened Odin with administrator privileges. Then I've gone in and I've clicked the BL button. And then I've browsed and selected the file that begins with the letters BL. I then clicked on AP. Then browsed and selected the file that begins with AP. Same thing with CP and CSC. When I clicked CP, I selected the CP file. And then when I clicked CSC, 
I chose the CSC file. And you want to choose the CSC file, not the home underscore CSC file, because we're going to be actually wiping this device clean, starting fresh as if you just pulled the smartphone out of the box. With all of that done, you can go ahead and check the options tab here. Make sure that the repartition option is not checked. It shouldn't be by default, but it's something to just check just in case. When you're ready, we're just going to go ahead and click on the start button right here at the bottom. So what's happening is Odin is taking the image files that we put from here. And you can see there's going to be a lot of image files and bin files that we are installing to our device and it's just writing over the contents that we have on our smartphone this is what quote unbricks the phone it fixes what one of our mods messed up or what an update messed up or whatever caused the soft brick issue we're taking Samsung's official software images and we're copying them straight and rewriting the software and code on our smartphone. Now this is going to take a few minutes. You can see we have a progress bar right here that gives us an overall progress. We're almost at 50%. And if you look down at your Samsung Galaxy Note 10, you're going to see a progress bar on there as well. Now while this is happening, it is advised to not unplug the USB cable. It's okay if you do. You can still repeat this process even though there is incomplete code on your smartphone. But again, it is advised to not unplug the cable, and you should definitely use a cable or a computer that has a stable USB connection. Having your USB connection drop out in the middle of unbricking and flashing these files is not advised. So we're getting close to the end here. We're going to be looking for a pass message to make sure everything worked right. If we look in the options here, we can see auto reboot is checked. So our smartphone is going to reboot on its own whenever this finishes up, assuming it finishes successfully. And I don't see why it won't. So there we go, there's our pass message. Our Galaxy Note 10 has rebooted. So I actually noticed the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 plus rebooting twice. So it, re it rebooted on its own from Odin. And then right after the splash screen, I saw it reboot again. You're going to notice that this first boot cycle after we have unbricked it with Odin is going to take longer than normal and that's how it should be. You can see this is not going to be English because my version of the Galaxy Note 10 is not natively in English. But we can quickly change that right here. So again this is all normal. I'm going to quickly get through this activation screen so I can show you that it boots us to the home screen just like we want. And here we are, we're at the end of the activation screen. We're now booted back into Android. And we can log into our Google account. We can log into our Samsung account. Everything is back to normal. Everything is back to how the software originally was even if we're installing newer software than what came in our box 
we are still installing the official Samsung software, the official Samsung Android images. And that is how to unbrick the Samsung Galaxy Note 10, the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus, and the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G.